This is Math 141, practice test number two, problem number 17. Uh, so some, uh, some thing it says it's radium 226. It has a half-life of 1,590 years. So that means uh, it takes that many years for half of it to decay. So if I go to set this up, I know I have an initial amount of 150. I notice its multiplier is one half. It's a half-life. And uh, I'm going to take that to the power of some time. But if I just write this, this gives me a half-life every year. My half-life happens every 1,590 years. So I'm going to break up time into little packets. Well, big packets, so 1,590. So there's my model. I can know how much is there after um, a certain amount of time. But I want to find the time given um, how much is left. So I'm going to solve that. Um, so let me move this up over here. So 25, that's how much I'm left with. Started with 150. It's having over time every 1,590 years. So as I go to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by 150. Um, so then I've got 25 divided by 150. That's 1 sixth. 1 half p to the 1590. Um, so I can now write this as log base one half of one sixth is t times fifteen ninety. Oh, great! And then from here, um, I can get at this number using change of base formula. You know, like natural log of one sixth divided by natural log of one half. Multiply by that fifteen ninety. So I have 1590 times that. That'll give me my time. And if I do that, I'm going to put that in my calculator. Do, 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 do. I get about 4,110 years. It's a long time.